Hey everyone, welcome back. I can't tell you how excited I am. I got to use my WPS 500X from PicoScope. Um, I got this from AutoNerds. Uh, Tom over there hooked me up with uh, great shipping time and everything. They got this out real fast. I got it on Friday and would you believe Saturday morning I got a chance to plug it in. So it's pretty cool when you get a new piece of equipment and you actually get the chance to use it. So this is going to be real quick here just to show you a couple things that I found. I had a 2005 Jeep, um, but basically we had a misfire at the time that I was there, and we want to take a look at what was going on. I amp ramped the coil, and we had a good pattern. I also voltage test the injector control side. We had a pintle hump or bump, so we knew the injector was opening. Um, whether it was flowing, I didn't know. I won't lie, I was excited to try out my new tool here, so I kind of jumped the gun. I probably could have done a uh, a couple other tests, I could have done a relative compression test uh, looking at the amperage of the starter and I also could have probably uh, tried the exhaust probe for this pressure transducer out and seen if we could see a different uh, exhaust, exhaust pulses but uh, I was in a hurry to get going and this is actually what we had on a good cylinder so you have your uh, compression stroke and your expansion stroke good exhaust pocket kind of matching over here and then uh, this was a little bumpy, but I don't have a lot of experience to know what good is. I'm just learning this stuff, but uh, that was the uh, good cylinder. Taking a look at the bad cylinder, at first when I saw this pattern, I kind of thought, why am I having uh, every other compression stroke, high, low, high, low, high, low, going on, but then uh, quickly realized, wait a minute, the exhaust valve is not opening here. Um, so as we... Uh, look at my marked up pattern here. This is what I found. A very common problem on the 3.7s, 4.7s, I think the 5.7.2. I've never seen it on a 5.7, but I'm sure it's got the same same issues. The rocker falls off, um, you know, the valve's sticking in the head and uh, it flops off. I don't know whether a uh, good upper engine cleaning might help take care of the situation. Um, it may or may not, but uh, usually the valve's sticking in the head and it flops off. Guys, you gotta keep on testing and using your tools that you have so you can learn what good looks like. I am on the beginning phases of my learning, so I'm gonna continue to bring you guys along. Um, please feel free to comment. If you got any questions, leave them below. Have a great day.